because there's so few of them in the US and so little really known about them. <laughs> What is going on guys, Andy Gabs back for another vlog and today is my last day of leave. So I've been on leave for six weeks now and today is the last day which means I have to shave today. So at the end of this video I will finally be shaving, really unfortunate. But uh, we're actually going to pick up some dart frogs from my friend Carlos that owns SoCal Scales down in Imperial Beach, California. I actually already got two and I'm going to get two more. So once we get down there, I'll bring you guys back. We just had to stop and get Kelsey some macaroons. Uh, she just wanted them for a while, so I told her I would get them for her. And go pet! Woo! Uh, and it was her idea to match today. As you can see, people love Patriots fans out here. All right guys, so I made it to SoCal Scales here in Imperial Beach, California. Uh, I'm actually going to be picking up two dart frogs today. They are cobalt blue tinctoris um, dart frogs. So I have two dart frogs at the house right now that are actually a different species, but I believe because my enclosure is so well planted, uh, there's a lot of different floor space, a lot of different hiding spaces. They should be okay, but I'm gonna keep an eye on them for the first month or so if they start to kind of bug each other, get rowdy with each other, then I will separate them into two different tanks, which is perfectly fine because I want to do a bigger one anyways now that I have the one that I have. But I wanted to start off by showing you guys a few animals. So this is a mountain horn lizard, native to Mexico, right? Okay, well they're either native to Mexico, South America, or Asia, so we got, they're, they're native to somewhere on Earth. Um, but yeah, definitely a super cool dude. Really chill too, they said he's not really flighty or anything like that. Just wants to hang out on your hand, but definitely a cool little guy. I'm just gonna end up showing you guys a bunch of animals and I'm gonna show it like this because I don't have a super wide angle lens, so it's kind of hard for me to walk around. But if I hold everything like this, super easy to show you guys. All right guys, and you saw probably a couple rolling shots of this dude. This is a black and white Argentine tegu. His name is Timmy and they actually got him in as a rescue about eight months ago. So you can see he's just uh, chilling on my back. They're super cool animals. They're kind of like puppy dogs. Like they're very interactive with people. Uh, there's a lot of people that have them as pets that just let them free roam all around their house. But I see he has another super cool animal. One of my favorites and I don't think I've ever actually even held one in person. And uh, Timmy here's claws are super sharp. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him down and then I'll bring over this guy. All right, and this is the animal that I was just talking about. This is a male basilisk. So if you look, he's got a lot of super cool greens and super cool blues. And he has the huge sail that goes all the way down his back and down his tail. Uh, this guy is a male and I think they're trying to find a female to breed to him, but for the moment they just have this dude. But definitely a beautiful animal. And again, I've never even got to hold one in person, so super, super cool. And how much is he for sale for? At 350. Uh, $350. That's not even that bad. And is this full grown for him? He'll get bigger. Get bigger? Yeah. So about twice that size. Uh, I don't know if you guys can picture that, but definitely kind of intimidating. But his blues on him are absolutely gorgeous. All right, so this guy is a Chinese water dragon. It's a little bit too early to tell if he's a male or female, or he or she is a male or female. One way to tell though, when they get a little bit older, the females will have a pink line down the side of their face. It almost looks like they're wearing lipstick. Uh, Kelsey wants one specifically for that reason, just because she thinks it looks like they're wearing lipstick. But still super cool guys. Kind of jumpy though, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him back and let's take out something else. Okay, so this is probably the coolest thing they have here at SoCal Scales, in my opinion. So this is a New Guinea tree dragon is the common name for them. And then what's the scientific name? I don't remember. H Magnus, I don't remember what H stands for. Yeah, H Magnus. There's only a few of these guys in the US, so you can see how big he is with his tail. His tail is probably, I'd say almost 30 inches long, something like that, 24, 30 maybe. But uh, I'm actually trying to get Brian Barcheck to buy this dude 
for the Reptarium because there's so few of them in the US and so little really known about them in captivity. Uh, I think it would be an awesome addition. So Brian, if you watch this, call Carlos at SoCal Scales. I'll remind you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely a super cool animal, the New Guinea Tree Dragon. So now we have a, uh, you guys just missed the most legendary crested gecko catch ever. He jumped out of my left hand and I like ninja to get him. But uh, this little dude, hopefully he does not jump. This little guy is a crested gecko. He's gonna jump. I'm just trying to gauge where he's gonna jump and I don't wanna knock my camera down so I'm gonna back up a little bit. Um, crested gecko is super common in the pet trade. Kelsey actually loves them. She wants one of them so eventually we might get one. Um, this guy is more of a yellow, but there's some that are high red, the, like the, what is it, um, got him. Um, the, what's the superhero, Deadpool, the Deadpool line of Crested Geckos are insane. They're like neon black and red, not neon black, but neon red with black on them. Super pretty, uh, but this one is super flighty and I don't want to drop him, so we're going to throw him back. God, that was such a ninja yeah. catch. I don't know if you saw that. He jumped out of my left hand and I went like that. <laughs> if you know anything about reptiles, you know what this is. Uh, this is a super, super high white pied ball python, or pie bald, however you wanna say it. Everyone says it a different way. But I'd say this one is like 95% white. Like every single part of him, or her rather, aside from the head, is completely white as well as the belly. One cool thing about pied ball pythons compared to like a pied reticulated python, in ball pythons, the head always has pattern. No matter what pied you get for ball pythons, it always has pattern on the head. But with retics, the head can be completely white too. So you can have a snake with a completely white head, but then patching its color all down its body or vice versa. But with ball pythons, you will always have the head have pattern on it. All right, guys, so definitely the rarest thing at this shop. This is called the Scarlet Storm. Uh, this one's only about a month old, or exactly a month old today. Uh, really hard to find. They sell on the black market for millions of dollars. Ha, ha, ha. And this one's actually super rare because she only has one sock at the moment. We're not sure where the other one went, uh, but she doesn't really seem to mind. She tolerates handling really, really good as well. But uh, sometimes she cries that you just kind of got to get past. But yeah, say hi, Scarlet. Hello. A couple more animals before I buy the dart frogs, and then we head to Alberto's house to hang out with some chinchillas. If red meat's black, like this guy, you will be perfectly fine. Well, maybe not with a hog nose. Bad example. Yeah. But <laughs> you, you will more than likely be perfectly fine. It's just going to hurt a little bit. They have to chew on your teeth. Yeah, they're, they're so, injected, so. Yeah, that's the, the rear fang. Here, you explain what rear fang is. Tell them, <laughs> tell them what rear fang is. Okay, so my buddy here is going to explain the talk. difference between rear fanged and normal venomous snakes. You yeah, might have to crouch. Right back here, yeah. <laughs> so the difference between rear fanged and kind of just like the normal fangs, like rattlesnakes, um, cobras, and stuff like that have. Yeah. Rear fang, <laughs> their fangs are fangs are almost all the way back in their throat. Um, so on the hog nose, it's just a millimeter or two behind their head. That's rear fang. Rear fang also is actually saliva. Yep. It's not hollow fangs. Um, so they don't really even inject anything. They actually just the saliva just kind of seeps into your skin. Yep. It's more of an advanced saliva, so it's, uh -huh. it's like your halfway point in between. He just got pooped on. <laughs> it's like your halfway in between, halfway in between point between spit and oh. venom. Oh, the tricolor just pooped on every or must on everyone. <laughs> no, that was poop. Oh, that one was poop. That right there. Yeah, was that poop. one was still didn't get pooped on. And this is a female Jackson's chameleon. Now. Jacksons aren't as pretty as say like panthers or something like that. Still really pretty. I mean they have the, the nice greens and some nice patterning to them. Um, but the cool thing about Jacksons and not so much females. Females you can see she's got that little teeny tiny horn on the tip of her nose. But with the males they have something really really cool if you didn't know about Jacksons. So with the male Jacksons chameleons I'm trying to get him at a good angle but he's not cooperating. Oh there you go. They have super cool like rhino horns. Um, so three different horns, one's kind of coming out of their nose and then two on the top of their head and this guy is in like the perfect spot right now. So cool. He's a model. 
So yeah, Jackson's Chameleons, super, super cool, and they stay a little bit smaller than um, something like a Veiled or a Panther, but a little bit more difficult to take care of. They have some more rigorous humidity requirements. Still, still super cool Chameleons. Love the horns, they're Kelsey's favorite because they look like dinosaurs. All right, now can we get the dart frogs out? You can just package them up, I don't need to see them, I'll just show them in the cup. All right guys, so Carlos here at SoCal Scales also has a business called Sticky Wraps, where they do like different vinyls and stuff like that. He's actually working on a t-shirt for Noah right now. Um, I kind of came up with the design and then I, but I don't know how to actually design, so I asked Carlos to like improve it for me. So if that ends up working out, I'll show that to you guys. But he made me these really cool like business card type of things. I mean, they're not really business cards. It just says um, my channel on it. But I have a thousand of them. So, it well, a thousand-ish. They weren't 100% sure, but it was whatever. So if you guys want one of these, comment down below. I'll pick maybe 10 people and I'll just mail you one of these and I'll sign the back or something like that. Um, but yeah. Really cool, thank you Carlos. Okay, so you guys can probably barely see him, but this is a little teeny tiny praying mantis. They actually have, oh he's running. They actually have 400 of these guys right now and he is so small that you can't even see him right now. Oh, he hopped. Oh no, where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> That's the fun with those. They're so small, like it's so hard to keep track of where they are. Got him back. Yeah, I, don't, I can't even get the cameras. Oh, there he is, kind of. Yeah, but he's so small the camera can't really focus on him. But uh, what kind of mantis is it? Chinese. Uh, those are Chinese. Um, Tinadera sinensis. Tinadera sinensis, so Chinese yeah. mantis. And Super cool. Them. One of the few that are legal in California. How much do you guys sell them for? Dollar each. <laughs> really? Just to get rid of them. Will they get big? They get about nine inches. Holy shit! For being such like an average, um, an average mantis, they're actually a really cool looking mantis. So those mantis that I just showed you, so they have 400 of them, but I don't know, there's probably like 10 or 15 in this cup, uh, but really cool. And now for the whole reason that we came here, I know I got a little sidetracked, but I felt like I hadn't done an animal vlog or a reptile vlog in a while and I wanted to get back into that. But here are my dart frogs. So super, super pretty. The one on the bottom has kind of an orangey head and the other one is blue and yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and get checked out um, by these guys real quick. Then we're gonna head to Alberto's house just for a few minutes because I wanna get these guys home and in the tank. All right guys, so there was a little last minute change of plans. Oh, by the way, we made it home if you couldn't tell. But I had said that I had two dart frogs that weren't tinks uh, and I was gonna mix them, but I decided that I didn't wanna go and mix the different species. Um, I just, I don't think it's a good idea personally. It probably would have been okay because there's so many different places to hide, but I don't know. I just didn't feel comfortable doing it. So I actually got two pairs or four different tanks. I have two cobalt blues and two powder blues. And I'm actually gonna be giving Carlos at SoCal Scales the two other dart frogs that I have. Um, I just feel better about it. So I wanna go ahead and release them into their enclosure and show you guys. So let's see how it goes. I'll show them to you first though. All right, so there's two of them. I believe these are the powder blues. I just don't want them to jump. I believe these are the powder blues. Uh, so now I'll show you guys the cobalts. So there's one of the cobalts right there. This one's actually really cool. It's got like a super orange head, which I really like. Kind of hard to get a good angle for you guys. The other one, the other one is hiding right there. I'm gonna turn you guys around now so you can see me release them. Alrighty, so here we go guys. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see this because they are so small, but uh, let's let them go. Hi right, buddies. There's one. And there's the other one. Yeah, right, you guys can see them pretty decent, I think. All right, let me go grab the other two. All right, here we go. Here is one. And the other one underneath. Come on, bud. Let me get you guys a close-up shot. All right, so there's the first cobalt with that really orange head. One of the powder guys is right here. Looks like he's kind of climbing the waterfall. Another powder guy right there. And then the last cobalt, where is he? I think he's like right, th oh, there he is. You guys can maybe just barely see him right behind those plants. But definitely super cool. 
these ones are definitely awesome. I like they kind of stick out a little bit more because of the blues and yellows. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and close their cage and let them get settled in. All right, guys. So as promised, I have to shave my beard. I told you guys that I would bring you on the adventure. Uh, six weeks of leave gone. So to my command, if you're watching this, thank you. I love you guys and I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to have so much time with my daughter. Um, it was an amazing month and a half watching her grow. She's a month old today, uh, so that's pretty cool. But unfortunately, going back to the Navy means all this has to come off. So without further ado, here we go. What do you guys think? I said I could honestly probably rock this. All right guys, well there it is. All shaved, ready for work tomorrow morning. Uh, you know, it doesn't look horrible, I guess, but I definitely like my beard a lot better. But um, thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. I would really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And turn the bell on so you get notified every time I post. I will see you guys very soon. Peace.